Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving radical equations. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, what we have here is this. I have prepared four different examples for us to understand how to solve radical equations. So, here, in number one, we are given square root of x is equal to 7. Remember, for us to solve these radicals, we need to remember this expression or this rule. If we have this expression, n to root of n, and then it is raised by n, the answer is x. What will happen here is that we're canceling, we're canceling this radical sign and this exponent. So for us to get the variable x. So same process or same law will be applied here. We have here the square root of x is equal to 7. So basically, we have here an index of 2. So to solve this problem, if you have the square root of x is equal to 7, to solve this problem or to find the value of x, we need to square both sides of the equation. Square, square root of x and then square 7. You can cancel this out, cancel this out. We have x is equal to 7 square, which is equal to 49. So this is now the value of x. As easy as that, guys. Now let's continue with item number 2. For number 2, we have the square root of x plus 5 is equal to 11. As you can see, in on the left side of the equation, we have 2 different terms and we have the other term which is 11 on the other side so we need to figure out how to remove this and make it here so by transposition method we can transpose 5 to the other side it will become the square root of x is equal to 11 from positive it will become negative 5 simplifying this we have the square root of x is equal to 6. Same process. What happened here must be done here. So we will square both sides of the equation by 2. Or square it. We have the square root of x raised to 2. Cancel, cancel. You have your x is equal to 36 squared is 36. By the way, guys, if you want to check whether your answer is correct, we can do checking. Let's have number one. In number one, let's do some checking. Let me use this pen. Checking. So in number one, we have the square root of x is equal to 7. Or the value of x is 49. So we can replace this x by 49. So we can have... The square root of 49 is equal to 7. And as you can see, and all we know is that the square root of 49 is 7. So do you think they're equal? Yes. If they're equal, guys, definitely the answer is correct. Sir, what about item number 2? If we can go and do checking, let us do checking. Our equation is the square root of x plus 5 is equal to 11. So we have the square root of x plus 5 is equal to 11. We will replace this x by 36. So we can have the square root of 36 plus 5 is equal to 11. The square root of 36 is 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. 6 plus 5 is 11 is equal to 11. Since they are equal, meaning the value of x is correct. So let's move on with the other examples. Okay. So this one, it seems like these two equations are hard to solve. But don't worry. Since we are using the law or the rule, we can easily eliminate the given radicals. First, we have the square root of 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. For us to eliminate, this radical sign, we will square both sides of the equation. 
and square this one. So as you can see, based sa law na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, we can eliminate this, eliminate this, and this will become 5x plus 1. Then equal to 6 square, which is equal to 36. And we can manipulate the equation, and we can instantly transpose this to the other side. Remember, from positive, it will become negative. So our new equation is 5x is equal to 36 minus 1. Then we have 5x is equal to 36 minus 1, which is equal to 35. And to finally solve for x, divide both sides by 5. Cancel. Your x right now is equal to 7. This is the answer for number 3. And if your teacher demands a checking, let me teach you how to do the checking. For the checking guys, for the checking part, using the original equation, let us replace x by 7. So that would be the square root of 5 times 7 as your x plus 1 is equal to 6. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 1. So we have the square root of 35 plus 1 is equal to 6. When you simplify this, this is square root of 36. So if I'm going to ask you, what is the square root of 36? The answer is 6. So are they equal? Yes. Since they are equal, our answer is correct. The answer or the value of x is 7. Okay? So let's move on with number 4. Number 4, there are two radicands or radicals, both sides of the equations. Square root of x is equal to the square root of 6x minus 5. So what we need to do here is to eliminate the radicals. Again, eliminate the radicals by squaring both sides of the equation. Square this. Square this part of the equation. So the pur again, the purpose of that is for us to eliminate this radical sign. Eliminate this and this. So what we have now is x is equal to 6x minus 15. So what I'm going to do is that I will I can transpose. There, there are two possibilities, guys. We can transpose 6x to the other side. Okay? We can transpose this to the other side so that we can combine it by x. But the tendency, but what will happen is that it will become negative. So what I'm going to do I will transpose x here and negative 15 here. So what will happen to negative 15? It will become positive. So in other words, 15. Okay? Is equal to 6x. 6x will remain on the right side of the equation. While this variable x, when you transpose it, it will become negative x. Simplify. 6x minus, 6, minus x is 5x is equal to 15. Now, we can divide both sides of the equation by 5. Cancel, cancel. Your x now is equal to 3. This is the value of x in number 4. Sir, can we do the checking? Yes. I will give you that. Let's try checking. Replace x by the value of x, which is 3. So it will become square root of 3 is equal to the square root of 6 times 3 minus 15. Simplify. It will remain square root of 3 is equal to 6 times 3 is 18 minus 15. So as you can see, when you subtract this, it will become the square root of 3. So as you can see, they are equal, meaning the value of x, which is 3, is correct. Now guys, I hope you learned something from this video on how to solve radical equations. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!